Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Y2. I'm your host, the Pokegamer. In the last episode, we made our way through the remaining parts of uh, Charlestone Cave and made our way to Mistralton. Off screen, I did get a better nature for Tynamo. I also leveled it up to level 38 because some of the levels in the gym that we're about to be taking on um, are pretty high. I also leveled up Lillian a little bit because we were still in the cave. And, you know, So, um, there's that. Um, before we really get into this, I... It's with a heavy heart that I have to tell you that I don't think I've ever been as tr or like trolled as hard anywhere else than I have been in this episode. Um, it's something that I honestly can't believe. The amount of... I just can't begin to explain it. You'll have to... I'll, I'll tell you about it when we get to it. It's great. It's very great. Um, I never thought that I could be trolled that hard by one of like the dumbest. I'm sorry to say, but it is one of the dumbest Pokemon that has ever been created. In all honesty, um, design-wise, it's kind of okay, but um, it's still kind of one of the dumbest Pokemon. Um, either way, I mean, we'll get to that when we get around to it. So before we get to the part where I'm mean, being trolled. We're going to talk to the remaining NPCs, and we're also going to cover something that was recently announced, um, which me, which is a new um, North American event. Um, going off of Serity here, it has been confirmed through an advert in Nat Geo magazine that two special events are coming to North America. These events are based on Mega Evolutions. First, from August 13th to September 17th, you will be able to download Heracross or Pinsir to your Pokemon X and Y games over the internet. In addition to that, if you go to GameStop stores from August 18th to August 31st, you will be able to receive a special serial code to download the Herconite or the Pinsarite Mega Stones. Um, so, I mean, there's that. Um, the Heracross comes at level 50 with the moves Bullet or Bullet Seed, Pin Missile, Close Combat, and Mega Horn, and will download to Pokemon X. While Pinsir also comes at level 50. With the moves X Scissor, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Return, and will download to Pokemon Y. Their abilities are random, and they both have a set nature of Adamant. The Mega Stones are, or, or the Mega Stone events sent Terraconite to Pokemon X and Pinsir to Pokemon Y. So yeah, that's the thing. Anyways, now that we got through that and we talked to all the NPCs, we can start on the gym. Hooray! Now. As you can tell, Skyla's changed up her little gimmick for her gym. Instead of having cannon, she has gusts of wind. Um, the way this gym works is if you don't get behind a wall fast enough, you will be blown all the way back to somewhere near the beginning. Um, as you are about to see, I, it smacks me against the wall there because obviously you can't fall off. But um, yeah. So if you're behind a wall, in front of a wall, or something like that, you won't get blown too far, of course. Um, at least not too far from where you're currently at. But, I mean, depending where you are, it can send you really far back. So, something that you just kind of need to keep in mind whenever you're doing this. Um, so, believe it or not, Tynamo really can't do much as it is. It needs to evolve first, and uh, I didn't want to evolve it off screen. And on top of that, I didn't want it to be, like, ridiculously... Like, unnecessarily over leveled compared to everything else. So, I decided to put it at level 38. That way, it's one level away from evolving. And honestly, I thought it would have evolved before the gym leader. It actually didn't, so this should be interesting. Um, maybe I'll get a. I don't know. Actually, I can't really get more experience off screen. I can level it off screen because it's not going to evolve on screen, so I guess I'm going to. And I thought I could make that, that's why I. With that, but, um, so, either way, the gym battle is going to be interesting because um, I can't really evolve Tiny Ammo now. So, and if I'm not mistaken, she has the same Pokemon that decided to just happy, like, happy troll me all day. Um, I mean, I suppose I could have switched out, but I was trying to get the experience on Tiny Ammo, and I don't think that you get very much experience if you happen to switch out and then bring in a third Pokemon that doesn't even have anything to do with the EXP share. So, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make sure that Tiny Ammo got a decent amount of experience. So, I mean... This is also, like, my third time recording this, and the last time he did this, he didn't do... 
what's it called first, he just instantly went for reflect. Um, I go for the Thunder Wave here just to outspeed, so that way I don't have to deal with it. And then go for the Charge Beam, try to get the increase, and I do, which is good because now I definitely do hit kill it. Um, I tried to go for Spark though because I wanted to preserve um, you know, Charge Beam. Luckily here I did get a bit of hacks myself in this episode, at least during this battle, and um, you're about to see what I mean. He still lives, but he gets fully paralyzed again, so I can just kill him whatever the hell I want. Um, not to mention he's slower and can't set up a reflect again, not, and on top of that he can't you know, get his health back unless he for some reason carries Roost. Um, which most you know NPC Pokemon don't carry Roost, but um, whatever. If I'm not mistaken, the trolley trainer is about to come up. I don't remember. I think it. I think so, though. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I decided to use my one PP up here to increase Charge Beam's PP, so that way it's up to 12 instead of like 10. Um, and I also decided to um, just you know, because I think I had like um, eight or so left, so I decided I was just not gonna you know, do whatever. I'm not sure if this is the trainer or not. I don't think he is, actually. I think he's the one after this. Because his first Pokemon's an Arkin, which I easily killed. So, I think it's the one after this. I could be wrong, but I I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out. I, I feel like this is too early for it to be this trainer, but um, yeah. Either way, whichever one it was that trolled me, it was a result or it resulted in me not being able to get to the gym later in this episode, so yeah. Time to see if this is the fight. No, I don't think this is the fight, because yeah, this is not it. It's the one after this. Almost positive. Because I think it started sometime between like 7 and 9 minutes and then it took me until sometime after 10 minutes just to get through the one trainer. And um, yeah. So I decided here to, um, I, think I, th I think I decided to Ether or something here. Or no, I'm going to use the um, get my health up at least because I, I actually needed the health for the next fight. Also, I don't, I don't know why I went to the left side of him there, I wanted to go to the right. But, um, because, you know, that way you have a quicker time getting to the other side before it decides to do another gust of wind. But, um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is definitely the Trolley Trainer. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, this is the Trainer. So he has a one level higher on Pheasant, and you're gonna absolutely love this. I just get trolled. He starts off by going with Detect. I'm not sure if that's something that like it gets at level 37 or something. Um, so he wastes one of the PP of Charge Beam, then he uses Air Slash because he outspeeds me and flinches me. Guess what he does again? Oh, we're not done yet. Do you see like all this bullshit? Do you see this bullshit? Well, we're not done yet. We're gonna use Air Slash again. Flinch! Well, I guess time to heal. We don't want to take too much damage, right? So, that's more damage. Actually, I think it goes for Detect here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. So, trying to, you know, make it so that way I can actually hit him, I go for the Thunder Wave. He, since he failed Detect, um, not because he used it multiple times in a row or whatever, he was able to use it then. Um, and um, I keep trying to go for the Thunder Wave. He has Taunt, so that's no longer a thing. And um, yeah, so let's go back to Charge Beam. And um, yeah, more flinch, just every day. Time to go for Air Slash again. Yep. This is a normal Pokemon battle, right? Completely normal. I mean, literally. We, we're not just predicting me completely or anything. I mean, well, there's also the fact that, you know, flinch all day, every day. This is the battle that I said that I didn't want to switch out. Look at how much experience I do have. I wanted to be able to make sure I got as much experience as possible, and I didn't want to divvy it up between three Pokemon when it's already being divvied up between two. 
Um, eventually I do break through this whole flinch crap, which is, you know, nice, but, um, yeah. Yeah, see, I, I finally break through the flinch. I don't know if this thing was carrying an item or what, but, I mean, if this thing was carrying a King's Rock, that is unbelievable. Like, and I also, you know, I actually forgot that he had this. Um, Roost is a thing as well. So, meet probably the trolliest fucking trainer in this entire goddamn gym. Oh, time to go back to Air Slash. Luckily he doesn't flinch. And at plus one, this is more than enough. He could have even roosted again and it probably would have killed him in one shot. Because a plus one is a lot, you know, it's more different than just taking a regular, you know, damage roll from it. So, I don't know. Either way, the entire battle was complete and utter bullshit. Excuse my language. All, all I know is that was just complete and total bullshit. That, that, I've never been trolled that hard, ever, in any single battle, not even against an actual person. I've never been trolled that hard. I mean, there's a difference between being, like, trolled and then just hardcore trolled, and being trolled by an NPC like that is just outright retarded. I, I, again, I've never seen an NPC get that much hacks, ever. Like, at all, in any game. I mean, I mean like, for real. There, I've never had, like, someone get, like, five crits on me in a row, or, you know, something stupid like that, or, like, five turns of being fully paralyzed, or something like that. That was an unimaginable amount of flinch hacks. And then just out predicting things like Thunder Wave or whatever with Detect and Taunt and all that other crap. I mean, like, that was unbelievable. Unfucking believable. I mean, I understand that it's possible, especially with things like Togekiss and whatnot, who tend to use um, Thunder Wave first, then they tend to just have a King's Rock and um, Air Slash just to keep, you know, preventing you from ever attacking until they literally be down and kill you. But I mean, this was different. It was just a regular Unpheasant that, as far as I know, doesn't have any items, and it was just triggering the flinch hacks every freaking time. Like, that's unfucking believable. I mean, there's a difference between it being, you know, amazing or broken, and then it just like. Let's see here. Air Slash has... I think a 10% chance to flinch, or a 30%, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I mean, like, I think it's 30 actually, but um, yeah, it's a 30% chance. So I mean, like, that was still pretty fucking stupid. Anyways, considering we only have like two minutes left, we do not have enough time to take on the gym leader today, so we'll be doing that in the next episode. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing that in the next episode, we'll be taking on Skyla, and then we'll be working on um, everything that we have to do after that, which is basically Celestial Tower, and I think a few other things, of course. Um, so yeah, be sure to stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, give this video a like for me being trolled the hell out of, I mean, why the hell not? It's always fun to watch that kind of shit, right? So um, yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, this is the Gamer, signing out.